There you go. Um, okay. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Um, wow, I'm so excited to do my first um, blog post about living in Paris. So, um, my name's Stacy, and I'm currently living in Paris, and I am teaching English here. And it's literally amazing. It's a dream come true. It's a complete blessing. And yes, I've had some difficult moments, but nothing compared to other people. Um, but my, my time in Paris so far has just been absolutely amazing. I've loved every single bit of it, basically. I mean, yeah, there's been good and bad because that's, that just comes with living in a new place. But overall, wow, like my life in Paris has been quite nice. So I figured this be I figured that this would just be a bit of an introduction. Um, so yes, I'm living in Paris. I'm teaching English. Um, I'm working part time with this job, and it's been really great so far. It's been really fun. It's been a fun experience. Um, the kids here are pretty excited to learn English. I'm at the primary level, so that's really nice. Um, what else? What else? <laughs> So I'm going to do a bit of Q&A, I'm going to do a bit of Q&A, um, where I was last year. Last year I was living in America, now I'm living in Paris. Last year I was working in a law firm, and this year I am teaching English, so I had a bit of a career change. Um, last year I was living in a one bedroom apartment. And now I'm sharing a one bedroom basically, um, which is fine. Um, what's the difference? Let's see. Last year this time it still felt pretty warm. And this year I'm now um, experiencing like a true fall, which is nice. Um, what else? What else? The work environment is completely different, naturally, working in an office compared to, and there's some kids, because um, I live right next to a maternal school, which is um, basically like preschool. Um, what else, what else? I don't even know what to talk about in this video. I'm just blabbering away. Just blabbering away, actually. But anyway, just tune in, because I'm going to have more videos eventually about my experience in Paris so far. Um, oh, so my French level. My level of French is okay. It could be better. It's much better than how it was when I was here in 2013. My French was awful then, and I thought it was good then. It, it was not good at all. And now it's, um, it's improving slowly. It's improving very slowly. Um, a lot of people speak English as well. Um, so it's not, com it's not a complete immersion because people like to switch right to English. If they hear your American accent, they're like, ooh, time to practice my English, okay. So that's a little annoying sometimes because I just want to speak French. Um, what else, what else? Um, I get to travel a lot. It's really fun. Like I've only been here for like two months and I've already been, where have I been? I've been to Amsterdam, I've been to London, I've been to Rennes. Ren, not Rens. Where else? Have I? I feel like I've been somewhere else. I can't even think about it. Or can't even think of it. Anyway, those are the cities I've been to so far. And I'm looking forward to doing some more traveling. What else? What else? I'm just blabbering away because I did not prepare for this video. I literally was like, okay, gotta make a video now. Why not? I need to do an introduction if I'm gonna get this started at some point. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I just auditioned for a play, so that was exciting. Um, what else? Um, and I got a part, so that was fun. That was great. Um, also I just joined a community band. So, I mean, we'll see how all of this goes. I literally just was like, okay, gotta do things. I gotta keep up my saxophone. I also wanna sing and act, because those are some passions of mine. Music in general, the arts. Oh, I've seen Wicked in London, Les Miserables, oh my gosh, seeing Wicked was so amazing. Going to London was amazing. I love London. I could live there. So maybe that's next. Maybe next I'll live in London. Who knows? 
Um, but yeah, London was beautiful. It was so, so cultural. Um, I had a nice Chinese buffet in their Chinatown. That was great. Um, and yeah, I like their accents. What else? Um, yeah, so if you go to London, definitely check out their free museums. I did not get the chance to do that. I should have. Um, but I definitely want to go back anyway, so it's fine. Um, what else is great about London? I mean, just everything's so nice. Amsterdam was wonderful. I love, I love how they have bikes everywhere. I love biking. There. But I probably, I don't recommend biking in Amsterdam. I mean, maybe if you're in a park or something, but everyone there, they know what they're doing, so be careful. Um, because everyone's riding their bikes. They're, like, these huge racks of bikes. Um, by the train stations, like, bikes everywhere. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, the, I've stayed in hostels in Amsterdam and London. Um, they're very nice. Um, the ones I've stayed in. I stayed in, I think it was called Palmer's Lodge Swiss Cottage in London. And then also I stayed in um, the Flying Pig in Amsterdam, Flying Pig downtown, and both were great. I, the Flying Pig downtown was very clean and very nice, and um, Swiss Cottage was nice as well. Um, what else? What else? Um, yeah, so I'm just going to stop here because I've just been blabbering and blabbering and blabbering on. So maybe the next video will actually have um, better content and um, have a bit of a structure to it. Um, but I guess that's just me right now because I just moved to this country and I'm just like trying to do everything at once and eventually I'll get into the flow and mix of things. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've even watched the whole thing, the whole thing. So um, yeah. Alright, bye! Salut! Au revoir! A tout à l'heure! À la prochaine! My French will get there eventually. Okay. So, I also... So, I've been trying to get creative with my lesson plans, and it's kind of hard to um, think of something for like the little kids and then the older kids. Um, so, I created a Thanksgiving song for um, the younger kids. And I also sing with older kids too, because why not? Music is fun, right? Actually, music is fun. It's essential. Fun the arts. Anyway, so this is my Thanksgiving song. Let's eat, eat, eat. Let's eat, eat, eat. Let's eat, eat, eat. Let's eat, eat, eat. Turkey and stuffing, yams and mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese, and rice and peas, apple pie and ice cream. Eat, eat, eat. Let's eat, eat, eat. Let's eat, eat, eat. Let's eat, eat, eat. And then, so like basically, um, I would split them in half. So one side would do, let's eat, eat, eat. Let's eat, eat, eat. Okay. And then the other side is like turkey and stuffing, yams and mashed potatoes. I can choose the rice and peas, apple pie, and ice cream. So that's my little Thanksgiving song for the kitties. Use it. Enjoy it. What ups? <laughs> Turkey and stuffing, yams and mashed potatoes. Mac and cheese, the rice and peas, apple pie, and ice cream. Let's eat. Eat, 